Hi guys, it's Barbara, and this is gonna be part three for what's in those boxes. So we're gonna keep going with all the new goodies. Are you ready? All right, let's do this. We've got tarot spreads. This, um, it's like a small poster. I don't know about this big and for doing tarot readings. Um, it's got the Celtic cross and I'm not really sure what else is on it. I've got it hanging on the wall um, and people have asked me if I could sell these. So I've got a bunch of those now. Nice for when you're just starting out or you can't remember. <laughs> can't remember. Spirit Song Tarot, we got a bunch of those. Witchlings. This is fun because it's it's um it's Paulina Cassidy and her artwork is very whimsical. I have a lot of young ladies that like this deck. You know, like teenagers or even younger than 10. Um, for Althea, who's laying right there, Wise Dog Tarot. So this is a tarot deck with doggies. There we go. Um, this is one of my decks. I don't usually do videos with this, but um, this is called Visionary Path Tarot, and it's very psychedelic. All black and white, but very psychedelic. Eternal Light Guidance Cards. This is a deck of 55 cards um, that are just like affirmations, um, just to help you get through your day, which, you know, we all need these days. Um, Triple Goddess Tarot. Triple Goddess Tarot. Sorry about the glare. This is, I love these little tins with the tarot decks in them. I think they're adorable and you can take them wherever you go. This is the Wonderland Tarot. So Alice in Wonderland. Mad Hatter. And the White Rabbit. Um, Radiant Rider Weight Tarot, your standard. Shaman Wisdom Cards with my favorite, the Wolf. On the back is the Oak. Um, tarot Familiars. So keep in mind, cats aren't the only ones that um, healers have as familiars. So on the back it shows an owl, there's a wolf, there's a unicorn, there's a raven, and the black cat. Alchemy Tarot. This one's kind of dark for you people who like the dark stuff. Focus, focus. Get me out of there. There we go. It's a little bit better. Um, Oceanic Tarot. A lot of mermaid. This has a lot of water energy. Look at with the blue. Here's the back. Magical spell cards. Lucy Cavendish. Magical spell cards. And the back has five cards on it. Health, abundance, beauty, good cheer, victory. Um... So there's spells in here, um, 45 magical spell cards and an in-depth, easy to understand guidebook on spell casting, moon phases, magical correspondences and fascinating background information. Fascinating background information. So there's um, five of the cards. Interesting, I've never seen that one open. Same with this one, Elemental Power Tarot. So it shows the magician and the star on this side. There's none on the back. Let's do that. Don't show me. And then on this side, it shows strength, the ace of cups, and the justice card. Um, elemental power. That'll be an interesting one to see. Um, here's a journal. This has the tree of life on it, very Celtic. Um, it's one of those that this flap opens and then that opens. 
Um, so here's another journal. This has the Triketra on the cover, on front and back. The Herb Crafters Tarot. So for you people that are into herbs, um, I will show you the back. It shows the, the Eight of Earth and the Temperance cards on the back. Chakra Meditation, um, this contains seven chakra crystals, and let's see, so it's um, based on seven chakra includes, it says including seven stones and crystals and a double-sided mandala board. So that looks like fun. If you're into, you know, starting something new, that would be a fun thing to do. Divine Feather Messenger. So this is an oracle deck using feathers. And it shows the blue jay on the back. For all my bird people. Um, Find Your Light Inspiration deck. So this is basically an oracle deck. This has 44 cards and a 28-page booklet. And here's the back. Gemstone Guardians cards and your soul's purpose. Soul's purpose. How to live your life more fully. Crow Tarot. For all those people out there that love crows. There's a lot of decks out there with crows on them. Very popular. Um... The Animal Allies and Gemstone Guardian cards. So this has animals and crystals. All about those signs that we're constantly being shown. <coughs> oh, there's a whole bunch more. I was thinking I was going to get up to all of this in one video. No, it's going to be two. Hush Tarot. Interesting. So it's by Jeremy Hush. Interesting artwork. Luring world where animal and human spirits are unified. So basically it's the spirits of other things. Like the spirit of the hummingbird or the spirit of the mouse. That's cool. So that's a tarot deck. Dancing in the Dark Tarot. That looks interesting. Hmm. Crystal Message Cards. Ooh, and it's got Blue Lace Agate on the cover. Um, 70 card Oracle deck. Tells you, um, gives you a photo of the crystal, a description. Um, and an affirmation. You can pick one card or you can do a spread. So that's what the cards look like. Fantastical Creatures Tarot. This one is always fun. There's the front and here is this on the back is the star card. Fantastical Creatures. Native American Tarot Deck. So this has Native American themes to it. On the back is the Warrior of Vessels. Mystic Sisters Oracle Deck. Um, this one has 51 cards and a 40 page booklet. And here's the back, it shows three cards. Mudras for Awakening the Energy Body. This is a really good deck. I used to have this one. I gave it away. Um, mudras are the hand positions. So, for example, in all older artwork, the hand position is very, very important. And they are trying to tell you something by the position that their hand is in. It's just we've forgotten over however many years or hundreds of years um, what those mudras are. And so this book helps us remember. And once you understand this, 
and pay attention to what you do with your hands. See, I'm speaking with my hands. Um, it it gives it, it may give a whole different message or it may give an affirmation of what you're saying verbally but it definitely allows you to understand those those older paintings better because they're trying to give you a message it's not just somebody sitting there with their hand open like this they're actually telling you something we just don't remember so that's very cool mother piece tarot deck this is round i love the round cards they're so interesting here's the star card on the back it's just something kind of different um whispering woods enchanting secrets from the forest this is a 40 card deck and it's basically um affirmation cards you know draw one to help you get through the day i love these little decks they're fun and if you just draw one for a friend and to make their day it's kind of awesome uh, medicine woman tarot deck and on the back is the seeker or the high priestess card here we go show that the sweet dreams deck I actually sell quite a few of these. They're they're they're, they're sweet. Um, you know, helps you connect with your dreams. Helps you set an intention before you go to bed at night. Um, let's see. Does it say how many cards are in here? No, it doesn't. Um, but this is what you would do before you go to bed at night to help you sleep better and to guide your dreams um, instead of just allowing your dreams to take place you guide them you set an intention for them this one's adorable this is garden dragons and it's so cute because it's basically vegetables and fruits and plants as dragons so like on the cover here um it's the strawberry dragon and this is an oracle deck um, on the back it looks like a grape dragon and the orange dragon so whimsical and fun. Um, if you want to teach somebody um, how to do oracle cards, this is a really cute, fun way to do it. If they're into dragons. <laughs> and if you're not into dragons. <sighs> Next deck, Journey to the Goddess Realm Oracle deck. This has 39 cards including three, 36 goddess cards and three confirmation cards and a 48-page booklet. On the back shows intellect and inner beauty. That one looks kind of interesting. Chakra cards for belief change. Okay, I'm trying to see how many cards this has. I don't see it. Use for inspiration or as a tool for therapeutic guidance. The cards highlight where you need to focus in order to turn challenges into growth experiences. I have not seen this one open, um, but I have sold quite a few. So... Then we have the Druid Craft Tarot deck. I use this one sometimes in um, my pick a stacks or in personal readings. This is a, um, I really like this deck. It's very earthy. So that's the back. Um, that's it for tarot and oracle decks in this box. And there's some other things, for example, a rainbow athame. This is wood. Yes, this is one of those that actually is sharp. Ow, ow. Um, and it does come with a leather sheath with the belt, with the belt clip. And there's a little plastic tip in there too. So you don't get any owies. Um, these should be, yep. These are pucks. 
that light up. So you put your crystal or whatever you want that can glow. So I've had people put um, lead crystal candy dishes on these. Anything that could possibly glow. But you put your, your item here. There's an LED light or a set of LED lights. Um, they have USB cables and plugins. Um, there should be, if they all came, um, there should be, it might all be rainbow. Sometimes I order just the plain clear ones, but I, mm, I don't remember. But the rainbow ones are my best sellers. Now, if you've been into my shop and you've seen the princess crystal in the front, um, where she changes color from red to purple to blue to green, etc. Okay, she's sitting on one of these. These are awesome. If you want to just make something pop, um, put something on top of it and use it as a nightlight, you know, in the hallway. These are awesome. What I like the best about these is these are wood. I first got some plastic ones in here where this was, you know, like this clear, just clear plastic. Put a crystal on it. Actually, it was the princess crystal. She cracked it. Like, within a week. Yeah, broken. These are nice because they can handle weight. You can put a big crystal on one of these bad boys. Or whatever you want. All right, maybe I will just keep going. So... Let's open this. Another Athame. This is, well, no, this one, it's not, it's not super sharp, but it still is pretty sharp. Um, but, you know, this is for display purposes. This is not for gutting a deer or any other animal or stabbing people. Um, this is for display purposes, and this is for cutting cords, but this is an athame. We got a bunch of candles in. We were running low on the Black Cat Protection Candles. Oh, they smell amazing. I wish you could smell these. Mmm. Come on. Come out of the bag. Mmm. So these are the skinny pillars, the black cats. These are for ritual work, for protection, um, for whatever you want. It smells wonderful. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I told you in one of my other videos I got um, a bunch of the the spirals or the cages. Yeah, apparently I got a lot in silver. <laughs> They've been on back order for a long time. This is more black cat candles. Um, more black cat candles. I got the votives in the glass jar or the glass votive holder. And then I got the skinny pillars. Um, these are ritual candle holders. It's the star. Um, these are for those half inch wide pillars. They're usually four to five inches tall. So we got a bunch of those. Oh my goodness. There's like a thousand little tiny things in there. This is another Athame. Yeah, this one's like the last one. It's not super sharp. It is sharp. You could hurt somebody or yourself with it. it just has the plain wood handle um, and some brass. And it does come with a leather sheath with um, the, the belt clip. 
or boot clip. I mean, you can put it wherever you want. And we have those in two different sizes. Um, I also got in a bunch of rings. These are the hematite rings. These are the opalite rings. I'm not going to open the bag because I don't want rings all over the floor. We got in a bunch of sage. Um, I love these. These are little cotton muslin bags. These are excellent for ritual baths, um, detoxification baths, making tea. If you like, if you don't like the metal or the silicone tea bag, um, tea infusers, these are awesome. You can wash them, reuse them until they fall apart. Um, I use these for ritual baths. Like I said, I think they're amazing. So we got about a hundred of them. Tiny tarot, teeny tiny tarot decks. We got some of those. Gonna be another athame. I always try not to cut myself on the camera because, yeah, that would just be bad. This is wrought iron, very Viking. Has a plastic tip. Anytime it has a plastic tip, I know it's gonna be sharp. Because it's cast iron, it has to be oiled up in here so it doesn't get rusty. But it looks like that. And you I don't know if you can tell in the video, that just looks sharp. So I'm not going to open that right now. Um, I want to make sure the plastic tip went in there. Yep, plastic tip is in there. Okay. All right. Then I got a great big bag full of small stuff. I'm not gonna open it. Mm. Suffice it to say, there's a whole bunch of key rings with crystals on them. There's some evil eye stuff. There's angel wing pendants. There's um, amethyst and um, rose quartz bracelets, there's copper rings, there's all kinds of smaller things. Like I said, I'm not gonna open this, um, cause yeah, that's just, this is like two days worth of work for me to get this out. <laughs> so just know that there's a whole bunch of new smaller items. Now, one last thing. So this is gonna be, this is gonna be it for the videos. And I will post this later. If you're still watching me, if you're still watching me, you get to know first. Mother's Day weekend at the Brainerd, um, what do you call it? The Brainerd Fairgrounds, there's a rock show. I will have a booth there. So you can come see me. Um, it's $2 to get in. I mean, it's pretty cheap. They have, last year they had um, some really good barbecue um, so they have food there. They have porta potties. Um, it's all rocks. It's all rocks. Um, we're not even as a vendor. We're not allowed to even bring anything that's not rocks. So um, Mike, that does the crystal wood knots, he will be there. Um, we both have booths, and um, so, like I said, if you're still watching, you get to find out first that we will be there. That is Mother's Day weekend. It is May 7th and 8th. It's a Saturday and a Sunday. And yes, my shop will be closed that weekend. So plan accordingly. That's it for now, you guys. I love you. I am going to spend the next few days tagging stuff and getting it out. Um, so if you saw anything that you can't live without, message me and I'll work with you. I'll ship it. I'll hold it up for up to one week, whatever. We'll hook up. I love you guys. You have a blessed day. I send you love, ah, blessings of love, light, peace, joy, happiness, success, divine health, and all good things because we're all worthy and we all deserve it. Right?
Have a great day.